everyone! This is Cheryl with Arthritis Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how I give myself my weekly methotrexate injection. So the first thing is I gather my supplies, which are my little vial of methotrexate, my syringe, and then a couple of gauze pads. You might already have pre-soaked alcohol swabs. I don't have those. And um, so I have my alcohol separately. And then a band-aid for afterwards. So the first step after you gather those, and then technically the second step is to wash your hands, and which I've already done. And then the thing that's a little bit trickier about methotrexate, at least the way it's given to me here in Washington State, is that you have to, um, you have to load the syringe up yourself versus like Arencia, which I'm also on, it comes in a pre-filled syringe, which is nice. But um, so you, when, there's a lot of detailed instructions when you first learn from your doctor's office how to do it, how to do it. So this is not meant to take the place of that. This is just meant to show you what it's like for one person to actually give themselves the injection. I think as a patient, especially when you're trying something new, you're kind of like, ah, oh, what is it actually like? So, um, so you have to clean the top of the actual medication, which I just did with the alcohol swab, and then you take your syringe out, and then I, um, switching tenses here, I, or switching person pronouns, um, I, I give, um, 0.8, that's, that's the amount that I give, again, it's totally going to differ depending on what your doctor has prescribed you, so I get, load the air up, and then I, put the syringe in and then push the air in. I honestly I think I'm not positive how why you have to do that, but it does seem to make it easier to get into the syringe when you do that. So um then you pull down, see how I'm pulling here with my I'm stabilizing with my thumb and pulling down with my other fingers. And um since I can see there's some air in there, I push back up. Now a lot of patients with rheumatoid arthritis, which is what I have um, or osteoarthritis um, or other forms of ar uh, inflammatory arthritis like psoriatic arthritis, um, you might have thumb pain. So what I do for, any, for a syringe is I try to not use my thumb when possible. I try to push up for my palm. So see here I'm pushing up to get it up to, to point 0.8. Instead of going like this, that's the more painful way. This is the less painful way for my thumb. So I get it back up to point 0.8 because that's my goal. Um, and you have to do a little bit of adjusting sometimes because I got the air bubble out, but now I need a little bit more medication. And then I have to prep my injection site, which in this case is the side of my, um, my thigh. Um, I find that a lot less tender than the abdomen. Um, and it depends on the size of your needle, whether it's necessarily going to hurt or not, and maybe just your skin sensitivity. Um, I find that this one does tend to hurt a little bit more with a syringe than um, Arencia, but not anything more than just, uh, I would say, like a pinch, pinching sensation. So, and you switch sites um, weekly, which requires like kind of keeping track which one did I do last week. I sometimes get my Band-Aid ready ahead of time as well. That's kind of a nice to do, don't not need to do. And notice that I still have my um, one last little piece of gauze here. That's going to be what I use to put on top of the injection um, area right afterwards. So that I get my needle in, positioned in my hand. Hopefully this is like not over explaining this. <laughs> Occupational therapists tend to do so much activity analysis, we break everything down. Um, and I prep myself mentally to do this, so I pinch it with with um, one hand, which this is kind of, again, can be a little painful, so with your thumbs or fingers if they're sore, so you can kind of grip with the whole hand and the whole palm versus just gripping with your thumb and pointer finger if that's what's hurting. Um, let me just do a little bit more alcohol because I want to make sure it's actually clean. Okay, and then I pinch it, and then... I'm going to get my syringe ready and then you go at a 45 degree angle like your other injections and um, and you know just push it in and then again like I, I made this point with my Arencia video but you can if your thumb doesn't hurt just go ahead and do it how most people do it which is pushing down with your thumb 
but if your thumb does hurt, you can just go ahead and position the syringe, the top of the syringe in your palm of your hand and push down like that so you don't even need your thumb. Um, so just push it in. It honestly don't even feel it at this point. And then pull that out and take my and then take my gauze and wipe off the excess and then just put some pressure on it for a minute and then you put your band-aid on. So be very careful that of course afterwards when you clean up you safely dispose of the needle in your sharps container and I put in this case I'm going to put the medication back in my prescription bottle and um, which has a child proof safety lock and then you can go on with the rest of your day. So all in all, the actual injecting part and getting popping the needle and everything takes like a, a minute. So, um, and you know, I, um, over the years, it just, it really does get easier. So hopefully those of you who might be watching who are new patients or who are nervous, um, you know, there, you know, there are things you can work with, like with a therapist if you're really phobic about um, needles or injections, um, but, and you know, breathing techniques, calming strategies as well, but um, hopefully you'll have the same experience I have, which is just over time, it just becomes routine, no big deal. Thanks, bye.